Today I want to talk about whether Albion Online is a casual game or not. And I know that it's rather widely accepted that Albion Online is a intense PvP game which is extremely hardcore. And if you aren't a PvPer, you might as well not play. And there's a lot of griefing that goes on and a lot of players that are really, really determined to make everyone believe that if you are not uh, living your entire life in the game, um, uh, griefing people in the full loot zones, ganking, you're not going to have any fun in the game at all. You might as well just quit and go do something else. And that's not fair at all because... I've had a lot of fun with Albion Online, whether other people like it or not. And I've had fun for years playing this game, very casually. I've accomplished pretty much nothing in the game. I've made no effort to worry about the PvP in the game. I rarely go to the full loot zones, and I have a great time. I play it like Farmville. I sign in, I get my daily bonus, and I go to my island and I plant my crops and I chop trees and I look at the crazy things that people say in global chat, and that's about what I do. And I can do it while I watch YouTube videos or a television show or listen to an audiobook or whatever I feel like. Now, the truth is, certainly, that the full loot nature of Albion Online adds a layer of toxicity to the community. People are really savage in Albion Online. That's kind of the style of the player base. So if you want a Care Bear kind of experience where you're going to have a lot of people that are very sensitive and gentle, well, I'm not saying they're not there, but you're probably not going to find them in the global chat. As a matter of fact, if you are sensitive, you might not want to even look at the global chat because very rarely is anything said in global chat which is not offensive in some way. Take that or leave it. Now, the biggest reason why games tend to be time sinks to me in a negative way, especially MMOs, is that what I have found, um, they have some sort of story content. They have some sort of thing that they're trying to make you do. You've got to grind your gear. You've got to finish the main story. You've got to get to a certain level. There's any number of different things that they want you to do. And you have this sense that if you are not um, doing that content you're supposed to be doing, you're not really um, you're not really going to get what you need to get out of the game. And uh, I apologize, but I'm a little bit distracted because I have this individual here that's clearly trying to interact with my character, and I've been noticing the salamander that's uh, following me everywhere I go. And if I wasn't making a video, perhaps I would uh, interact with him. Anyway, very funny. But um, Albion Online just doesn't have any objectives whatsoever. There are no quests. There is no sense that you need to have a specific gear score. There is no story content to grind through. There's really nothing that makes your MMO journey incomplete. You sign in if you feel like it and do whatever you want for however long you want. And if you get bored, then you sign out. And, you know, it's just really, really open-ended. And I think it's a good example of that premise that if you stop looking for something, that's when you find it. Albion doesn't try to sell itself as being a really, really great game. And that's kind of why it succeeds to some degree. Because 
Albion doesn't even really try to have content. It just lets players do whatever. So that sense of being open-ended also contributes to the sense that if I want to play for just 10 or 15 minutes out of my day and I don't want to make it a big grind and I don't want to be, be taking the game seriously, well, it doesn't try to imply that I should do otherwise. So I think there's definitely two different narratives there. There's, there's players that feel like Albion is uh, something only for hardcore players, and that pushes a lot of people away. But the truth is that if you just want to have a very chill game where you can peacefully grind while you do other things, it's, I would say, in my experience, having at least a little bit played pretty much every MMO out there to see what they're all about. Albion Online is the most casual, friendly game that I have ever found. And that's why I keep on coming back. Because other games make me feel like my experience is incomplete. I feel like I have to grind through content I don't enjoy. I feel like I can't just explore and run around and do whatever I want because it's all on rails. And you really only have one thing that makes sense for you to be doing, which is probably the next quest that you're supposed to be going on. And most of the things you do in other games wind up putting you in a situation where you're not even able to interact with other players because the quests you're doing are solo content and you can't really have other people do them with you or for you. In Albion, you're just doing whatever you want, so you can always interact with another player. Kind of like the guy who's out here a minute ago on his salamander, he just comes up and he's like, hey, bro, what are you doing? Can I come along? Well, that's really what an MMO is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be this open-ended community where you never are obligated to be there, and it's always there if you want to be there. And it's all about the society of the players. It's not a single player experience. It's not a single player RPG with other players online. It really is a game that is made possible by the people who play it. And yet the balance there is that you can play it solo. You don't have to play it with other people to enjoy it. And yet, the entirety of what makes the game special, what makes it what it is, is the players. And that's, that's what makes Albion special. So, if anyone tells you that Albion is not a game you can enjoy, as a person who likes PvE more than PvP, or as a person who's pretty casual, I can guarantee that that's just not fair. And I think people tend to really quickly jump on the bandwagon of hating anyone who plays differently than they do. And that's human nature to want to say, well, if you don't do it the way I do it, then you're not going to have fun. But the truth is, if you have fun, it does not really matter whether your play style is the same as everybody else's. And for every person who's out there in the dangerous areas doing a big guild war, there's also somebody who's just chilling while they listen to music and a podcast, gathering tier 4 resources in a yellow zone, and enjoying a chill Friday night. So, if you're casual... Before you write Albion Online off, I would suggest, give it a try. See if you like it. You might wind up being surprised. Till next time, thank you for watching.